Engineer 775 working on the next project. The table comes in very handy when uh, nobody's at home. <laughs> I can use it as a workbench. And I need it today because I'm laying out a lot of cool equipment here that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to install this thing for a long time. If you're familiar with mini splits, this is a, looks like a traditional mini split. This is a one ton mini split heat pump. But the cool thing about this is that it uses solar energy. Uh, it's a hybrid. It's using grid and solar. So we're going to be hooking up our solar panels to this breaker and then our, our inner uh, fan coil unit will be hooked into here and then house power. But the awesome thing is this will take about 800 watts of solar to run the in, uh, DC compressor that is inside the unit. Now I don't know about the controls but I've met the gentleman that designed this. This is the fourth generation so this isn't uh, some bleeding edge technology. He has worked on this for four years. Um, I saw it about four years ago on the internet and then it disappeared and uh, then it's come back and so we do have, have this on our website if you're interested this is a hybrid one ton air conditioner that runs off of solar so we're going to be installing uh, 900 watts of solar on this DPW racking here uh, <laughs> with some cool mounting hardware DPW has come out with these easy feet that have a butyl strip on the bottom so you can just put that down and screw right through there to your roof and mount your rails and then mount your panels. I'm gonna mount the outdoor unit. I picked up a, just a universal uh, outdoor condenser unit wall mount. So that will be mounted on the wall and then we gotta mount this on the inside. So that's it right now. We're just laying out all the parts. Just wanted to share with you kind of a step-by-step -step of this. There are no instructions <laughs> how to install this thing. Um, I've downloaded a few things off the internet. So anyway, if you've installed a mini split, this will be a piece of cake. This will be my first. So I'm taking my time. But anyway, solar air conditioning, uh, direct drive. They make another option, another one that runs off of a battery backup. But my plan is to use a larger solar system to supply the AC power that is required by this unit. And so the AC power that I will need, which is only 80 to 90 watts, will come from a solar system. So whether uh, that'll be an Outback Radian supplying that. So I'll be able to supply my home 50 amps of 220 volt power and have no problem doing that. This comes with a 10 foot line set. So kind of you have to plan everything out so that everything's gonna kind of fit. And uh, you're, you're, there should be enough refrigerant in this unit so that when you open, when you open up the the unit inside the the uh, compressor there'll be enough refrigerant to charge the entire system so i don't believe i need to pull a vacuum on it but um i got a buddy that does hvac so if i get in trouble i'll get him over here and we'll pull a vacuum on it possibly with nitrogen and let him do his thing but for now i just wanted to show you all the parts there's there's more to this of course than just installing the mini split you've got all the solar mounting hardware and I'm really excited about putting this on my roof and letting the sun cool my house. Pretty good uh, oxymoron there, uh, having the sun cool your house. So this, I've been doing a lot of solar water pumping, direct drive, and this is my first attempt to make air conditioning uh, using a direct drive system using solar. So, okay, I think that's enough for now. Um, the installation will be part two.